Psychic Holistic Spotlight. We'll have a brief musical interlude and meet our guests. like to introduce you to the equipment some of the that some sound healing involves Darlene in the meantime in the meantime I'll introduce you my co-host tonight is Kathy Medeiros and my guests are a Michelle and Bonnie Blue how do you do? Hello, everyone. Thank you for having uh, and us. And I'm very pleased to have you. And we're so happy to be here. Um, you've transformed the studio into a little... Uh, Batch. I, I can't think of the right word. A little oasis? magic garden. Oasis. Yeah. An mm. oasis of tranquility. Mm. <laughs> well, we try. Yes. Yes. We brought the magic. Uh, of the some of the things you see are not just props, they're musical instruments, they're tools for healing. The purpose for the sound is healing. Um, a. Michelle is a sound healer and gong therapist. Therapist, okay. Or gong and sound healer. And Bonnie is an energy healer. Dolphin energy dolphin healer. With, from the dolphins. Yes, certified by Dolphinity, which is also called dolphinheartworld.com. Yeah. Yes. Um, I've got to know them, and they are unbelievable. Mm. They, they bring peace and balance and beauty into our lives. Tell me, what started you with the music? Well, um, first off, I want to say that Bonnie and I both work at Nature's the yes. Yes. Rock Shop in Tiverton. And so um, it's really nice to be in that space where we can meet like-minded people. Um, the, end, the interest in New Age metaphysical expansion of spirit, you know, there must be more to life, was what also set me on the path to music. I hit a rough patch, and then a friend of mine took me to a drum circle, mm -hmm. and it was really the kind of release from my anxious thoughts, from my emotional upset, I had never experienced that before. So I was sold. Within the course of one drum circle, I was sold. <laughs> yep. And once you get one crystal, once you get one instrument, <laughs> then, then you're on the big climb up to the mountain of everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how long ago was it since you started this? I started in 2004. I went to my first drum circle. I started playing with a gal who plays gongs in 2012. So I've been playing full-time gongs for seven years. And uh, I've been at Nature's The Rock Shop for about a year and a half with a private practice. And I also go around with equipment and I play with other people. Mm -hmm. And we do a group style healing. So it's mm -hmm. called a gong bath. Yes, I've heard of them. I've never been. Aha. I've been told I must go. Well, it'd be kind of yes. fun to set one up in this studio. That would be really <laughs> yeah. great. Um, and an energy dolphin, energy healing as well. Right. We do it yes. together. Copacetic. So the idea of sound is that it moves through your body and um, it helps to shake out that which is 
not of the highest and best. Well, it's frequency. Mm -hmm. And it helps to tune you up. So I could use the metaphor of taking a stack of papers and shaking it. And um, you know how you do that to settle up a stack of papers? That's what sound does to the human body. And so all of the ruffled bits, whether it's in the cells or whether it's in the etheric bodies, um, tend to get straightened out. Now, like a chiropractic attunement, if you walk out and you do the same stuff that disaligns you, then you will snap back into your right. un unease or your discomfort. However, people who come to a gong bath also experience a beautiful night's sleep, usually a relief from pain. Um, I've had people come up to me and say, oh, was a bodybuilder for so many years and I tore my this and that and I've been in this is the first time I've been without pain in years and I thought okay it, thank you so much for sharing that I tell people come up talk to me because I want to hear what is going on yeah well I had a very good reaction to your tape oh nice when I had a session with Bonnie so you use the violet flame one right yes nice yes uh, what introduced you to the violet flame and the, well, I know you started with the dolphins back in 1992. Yes. Tell, you know, tell us. In 1992, I was on a sailboat heading east of New York City. We hit the biggest storm to hit the New Jersey coast in 35 years, according to the newspapers when we got back. It was right around the time of the perfect storm, so it was a really big storm. And after eight days of these storms, high seas, hurricane force winds clocked at 80 miles an hour, on the ninth day, the seas calmed, the sun came out, and two beautiful dolphins were leaping on the side of our boat. And as most people, when they see a dolphin, you just feel this sense of peace wash over you. And I looked in the eye of that dolphin, and it was like time stopped when I looked into her beautiful eye. I actually did a painting of it. This is the painting of the eye of the dolphin and the two dolphins that rescued me that day. And that night, I dreamed all night long about dolphins. And right before I opened my mind's eye, in my mind's eye, I saw two white dolphins leap. And it was the dolphin's way of telling me to remember. But the most amazing thing is when I got out of that bunk, I took two steps into my day and, and I couldn't move. And I just felt this energy wash through me of strength and a courage that I hadn't had for eight years prior to that. I was one of those doormat <coughs> wives that just said yes to everything and tried to please everyone else but myself. And the dolphins gave me this knowing that not only was I going to move on with my life, but a strength to do so. And then three weeks later, I was visiting with my mom in the islands on a vacation. My sister was there. We had just eaten lunch, and I was rolling a piece of clay in my hand and looking at the ocean. And when I looked into my hand, I was making a dolphin. So I don't know if you can see it on this television, it's a little but small. it's small. But when I finished this dolphin, I held it in my hand and was just looking at it. And my sister Shelley said, Bonnie, you should cast these. So I came back to the States and I started to cast them and give them to people. And it was just miracle upon miracle upon miracle what the dolphins have brought to others. And people tell me that it just gives them a lift in life and makes them feel joyful. Or it became the lucky dolphin in someone's pocket that gave them courage. And so then I just continue to, to do this. And now, as A. Michelle says, um, when you call upon the dolphins, it just it's just beautiful energy that flows through people and just brings people to a very joyful place that raises your vibration to the vibration of love and joy. Thank you, dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you, we, we never know where life is going to take us when we listen right. to spirit. Mm -hmm. And the violet flame um, is Saint Germain, um, and I actually received this t um, CD, I believe it's up here, that A. Michelle has worked on, and I use this in several of my healings, um, and it's burning away anything that no longer serves you, anything that is not of your highest truth and your, your purpose in this life can be burned into the violet flame, yes. and then you can walk mm -hmm. and enjoy. I, I found a, a release. So I should probably say that this is a, so Reverend Kathleen Hoffman of the um, Onset Spiritualist Church, 
worked with myself and Russell Kramer to, to co-create this. Uh -huh. So Reverend Hoffman has a background in, um, as well as being a, med a great medium and a counselor, she's an alcohol, a licensed alcohol and drug counselor. Uh -huh. And so in her line of work, often she encounters negativity, mm -hmm. as you might imagine. Mm -hmm. So this is for that negativity that we sometimes can run into from our current lives and from our past lives. Mm -hmm. So issue by issue, we ran through it. And how was your experience with it? It was very good. I, I found several things that I was able to loosen up and mm. let go of. Mm. You know. So the gongs use a pew, like to really, as you invoke with sound and within visualization, that burning, that now, how often do you do these um, well, gong baths or the sound therapy? Um, so, I have, we just finished for um, December, and I've got five books for January. And I'm going to be playing at the First Spiritualist Church of East Providence on January 18th. I'll be at um, an, a couple, a, a variety of different places from Pawtucket to Falmouth. And so and five times you, a month. Are you on a website or? Uh... Yes, you can find me on um, soundingspirit.com or drumsinger.amichelle on Facebook. And, and, and I am healingdolphins.com. Now, do you do all the work that you do though with A. Michelle too, or do you have your own no, practice I, that you do? I have my own healing room at Nature's okay. in Tiverton, Nature's the Rock Shop. Yes, we're we're team next she, door to we're right <laughs> next door to each other. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But what Don, Bonnie does is very much she does incorporate sound. I do. Yeah. I use the crystal bowls. Um, I use kalimbas, um, and some uh, some drumming, but not mostly the crystal bowls and the kalimba. Okay. Now do that's you work? a thumb piano. It's called kalimba. It's yeah. a kalimba, and the dolphins. Um, operate at 5.2 megahertz, and it's the same frequency as the harp. Uh-huh. Now, do you get guided by the dolphins and how you're gonna work with the uh, particular client? I do. Okay. I, I have a structure, it always includes a meditation, and but I'm always, I go into a trance and, and listen to what the dolphins want the person to receive. Okay. I also use Reiki. I, as I mentioned before, studied with Linda Shea. So I often, if, if it's a person's first time to dolphin energy healing, I will run Linda Shea's introduction to dolphin energy CD and introduce the person to their own personal spirit guide. So that's a Which, guided meditation? Yes. Okay. Yes, but I work with, through the guided meditation to align people's chakras and to feel their energy and help clear their energy and help teach them how to walk through this life um, with tools to clear their energy so they can walk through this life in, in a frequency of joy and okay. protection. That's protection's important. <laughs> the dolphins <laughs> offer protection. Yeah. Very much yeah. so, especially the golden dolphins. Now, how is that dolphins. different than the other dolphins? The golden, the, dolphins. the golden dolphins are the spirit dolphins that the physical dolphins work with. So it's the energy of the dolphins that they come from a star uh, series B, and they um, they're spirit dolphins. So they're like angels. They're okay. angelics. Okay. They're very similar to angels. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. That would be for Anything? another show, I think, because yeah. that would go into a very long and lengthy description, and okay. this is primarily mostly yeah. about sound today. Otherwise, I don't uh, yeah. know. But they're angels. But they're, they're a form of angels. Pathetic. I mean, the dolphins communicate by clicks and they do. whistles. They and the lot. So the difference, I mean, what I do is mostly live. So there's um, just no, nothing between the people and the sound. Okay. And I personally feel like it, like an acoustic instrument is really important, and yet there's a time and a place for a, a recording, as you experienced as well. But sometimes you can't do everything. I mean, now would be nice to have a recording, because um, 
You'd be able to hear it as we're, as we're talking. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I always play the sounds of the dolphins and the whales. That's lovely. Yeah. They're working yeah, they with us. Yeah, they can't be in the room. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, goodness, no. <laughs> oh, 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 and why not? <laughs> they are in the, in the very room spirit. in spirit. They are very, very, very there. much so. And Plus the whales your, as well. Your the artwork really And they come home them. with you. They do in, in, in spirit. Fact, Did you feel that when you went home? Do. My first experience with the dolphins was when Susan Fox went to Hawaii. She swam with the dolphins, and she was on the show, and she said she was nervous. And I heard whispering in my ear, tell her to go with the flow. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized it was the dolphins talking to oh. me. Oh, very <laughs> she nice. Couldn't, she couldn't hear them. You know, it probably was, you know, th yeah. their spirit uh, leader, yeah. you know, uh, whispering. May I just read something very short? Yes. It's about, it's like from Linda Shea, and it's about dolphin energy healing, and it talks about going with the flow and joy and the movement creating love and the flow of abundance. And dolphins are the master healers and keepers of the light upon planet Earth. They are highly evolved, omnidimensional beings who live in the oneness. Their role is similar to that of the angelic kingdom. They are here to watch over us, to help us and support us, and to guide us to our remembrance of to radiance, wholeness. Their love for humanity is profound. Like angels, the dolphins influence and transcend time, space, and physicality. And then there was a um, transmission here, I just very short. It says, people can learn a lot from dolphins to live in harmony, to create love and joy between people, to live the life they were meant to live. When people come to con con in contact with dolphin energy, they realize their source and their future. Yeah, what I like pretty. about the dolphins mm -hmm. is I need reminding to play. And, and they're yes. just so joyful. That's one of the biggest things they give to us is to remember to play and to flow with life with joy and joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, isn't all, it isn't all about work. Correct. You know, there's uh, and there, what I've learned from the, the dolphins and, and various practices is that w when I retired, I began to think I've lost my purpose, but I haven't. There's, you know, every time I speak to somebody, I'm fulfilling my purpose. Exactly. If I Bringing do it, the joy if I do it with love. Mm -hmm. Living from your heart. Yes. Giving from your heart to the world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people have had uh, backgrounds, the rough patches, mm -hmm. that it makes it hard for them to, to feel with their heart. Sure, and there's armor. And trust it. Mm -hmm. So it takes time. Mm -hmm. But through sound and the joyous guidance of the dolphins. How long have you been studying the dolphins? Since 1992. I've been working um, over 25 years um, doing the, all the program, many programs, three specific ones were um, the uh, Cetacean Summit in California where over 60 speakers who work with dolphin and whale energy came. Um, there's a book called Dolphin and Whales Forever and there's 30 of them have chapters in this book. And then I went to Sedona to the Dolphinity Retreat with Linda Shea and I swam with dolphins in May with Linda Shea. Yeah. And I had the experience, I had a beautiful experience, I can tell you very quickly. Um, I was swimming with my mermaid fin, because I love mermaiding, and I was just one with the ocean, and I was just very free, and there were seven dolphins down beneath me. They turned, they looked at me, they came right up to me, where I could see her eyes and the pink of her rostrum, and then they started spiraling around me and clicking all at once, 
and I was sent to another dimension. And other people have experienced this as well, where I didn't see another person, another fin. I was just one with the dolphins. And then they came up next to me, and I swam next to them. And I felt like I had endless breath, and I was the eighth dolphin swimming with them. It was really beautiful. <laughs> so I was very um, blessed to receive that. It, it had been a very long time that I worked with them, and I had swam with them in other times, but never in the wild. And so to have been given that gift, to be able to pay it forward to others with the energy of that sonaring that they did for me, I can then bring that forth to help others receive that through what's called attunements, yeah. which there are seven of them, and they, they correspond with the seven chakras. And by the time you reach the seventh, you become dolphin. They change you on a cellular level. But that's for another story, another day. Let's get Amy Michelle doing her sound. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I wanted to add was, and you learn to giggle. Yes, yes. <laughs> Very, and you too. That's beautiful. I had yeah. lost my giggle before then. Thank you for reminding mm. me. It's beautiful. So tell me about some of your experiences with people. With people that stand out, you know, uh, with sound healing. With people in sound healing. Well, so the first time that I, the first drum circle that I went to, I was really struck by how much communication was possible without words. And so what I went, when I started looking back in, into the, you know, why does sound work, it turns out that the first part of the brain that develops is the reptile portion of the brain, just the top of the brain stem. Yeah. And that responds to sound. So if you, in any kind of um, therapeutic situation, mm -hmm. the words, for many reasons, words can be confusing. So a sound is so primal, it gets to people before all of the chaos that comes with words. And so, what is possible when you have just a sound environment is for people to go within and they rest inside in a deep, deep meditative state, which we all know is quite healing um, and restorative. And they sometimes find themselves having, um, finding solutions to things that, they, that mm -hmm. they've been <clears throat> troubled by for a long yeah. time. Um, I've had, it's good with autistic kids, it's extraordinary with um, anybody with heart or brain uh, damage, like cerebral, um, because the sound centers are different than the language centers, like I just uh -huh. said. So you can have someone with Alzheimer's who will respond on a level that they haven't wow. in many years because they'll go, oh, and they'll speak. Like I've had autistic people, like they're, you know, they do this mm -hmm. stuff. I've worked with Life Inc. out of Bristol and the Maha Center down in Newport, and their clientele is all developmentally disabled. And yeah. when I do a sound thing, the um, the assistants will say, oh, "I haven't seen her smile in." You know, she mm -hmm. never smiles. That's beautiful. Or, I can't believe they were quiet that long. <laughs> you know, and oh, this is so peaceful. So overall, mm -hmm. and, and again, pain relief. I've also worked at Miriam Hospital um, with the cancer uh, people, uh, both the caregivers mm -hmm. and the cancer patients, because stress is, is not yeah. only, yeah, right? You right. know, it's the people around um, the ones in pain also mm -hmm. who are carrying. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that stress know, as well. This, mm -hmm. they're like, <laughs> and the sound helps to. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yes, you know. and there's two very distinct correlations with what you just said with dolphin energy um, as well, because um, autistic children, after a week in the water with the dolphins, will begin to speak. Mm -hmm sentences or smile or react. There's many programs where the right. dolphins work with. So you with can tell that there's brain synapses, there's people uh, connections need, being made right. that they didn't Special make needs before. Or autism, yes. There's a program called the Island Dolphin Care in Key Largo, Florida, where this woman's son, he was listless in a wheelchair when he was five years old, couldn't even lift his head up, and she put him in the water with a dolphin, and he started to respond, and by the end of the week, he was starting to speak, and now it's she's run for over 30 years this program where many, many people are, and I've swam there twice with her dolphins, 
Dina uh, at, down in Key Largo, Florida, and it's just just remarkable. Have you had any um, work people. with people who have hearing impairments? Yes. How does that work? Well, they're actually quite sensitive to, to vibration. Wow. Quite sensitive. So I will take a, a singing bowl, which also vibrates, and I'll like put it in their hand, uh -huh. and they and I'll oh, see beautiful. them respond, and you know, or I'll put I it on the feel, body. Yeah. Beautiful. And um, so they're they're pretty good. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I was curious about that. Yeah, they so have, it's helpful for them as well. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. they're they're feeling the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like um, animals when they become hard of hearing, they they vibrate. The, mm -hmm. You know, they know people are coming. They don't hear them. It's through the frequencies, right? The vibrations, the right? The vibrations. right. But they're able to interpret it in a level of complexity that's much greater than you or I. Because we're taking in eye, you know, ocular visual stimulus, yeah. and we're taking in auditory stimulus, but they've got, like, imagine all of that data is coming in through your, your skin. Yeah, the tactile and so it's, feeling, it's yeah. not limited. It's well, that's, rich. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that. Even though they yes, think, right. they live in their skin, <laughs> <laughs> right? And we are angels with skin on. Yeah. That's, I like yes. that. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so I hope that people can come. You know, a gong bath is a really easy way to. There's no water involved. You lie clothed, or you bring a comfy chair, and you receive the sound that way. Mm. And um, oftentimes, people are able to go within within 30 seconds to a place of deep meditation. Yeah. And so for anybody who has a hard time stick, sitting still, it's perfect. It's great. <laughs> it's yeah. so great for me, though, because I fidget constantly yeah. Yeah. all day yeah. long. <laughs> yeah. The other day at Nature's, the fire alarm went off, and it was so loud. It oh, was actually yes. damaging yes. my eardrums. And then Amy Shaw just miraculously showed up right after that and did a quick uh, gong bath or sound healing on me, and it was amazing how I transformed from that. The speed oh. is extraordinary yeah. 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 That, that, <laughs> that all of this stuff can affect you. So yes. even five minutes, even three minutes, you can make a big change in your life. And I tell people, be aware of what you're listening to. Mm -hmm. We're coming near to the end of the show. And I want to say thank you very much for coming mm -hmm. to our show, both A. Michelle and Bonnie Blue. And uh, if you had one thing you wanted people to know about what you do, what would that be? <laughs> that would be that I definitely work with guides and masters and always call it in. Protection is um, key. I don't know what that, I would love to sing to the angels and always call them in. I always call in the angels and ascended masters, and this is one here, um, Solomon, that's again for another show, but I always work with the, the angels and the dolphins, always channeling the golden dolphins and speaking for that. I have a prayer I would love to say. It's very short. Okay. Na'astan shima yadahit shita kodo hojongo e shidne e bitna nashka do ole. Mother Earth, Father Sky, may I walk in beauty. May beauty return to our beloved Earth. Mm. Beautiful prayer. Yes. And I will just say alukwo, which means dolphin and Shumash Indian. Uh, who they believe the dolphins are their ancestors. Again, another story. And go in your strength and your power and your joy. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you've made thank the you set both. a lovely and little the place to be in. <laughs> <laughs> the dolphins were here. I could feel them swimming around. Oh, nice. Bringing the joy to us. Yeah, I've seen them very, very very And there are always <laughs> angels here. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sure there are. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, can can I blow can the she, conk? Can she blow? <gasps> I don't know if they're oh, in the right. studio they're next, next door. door. All right. Well, they could probably just give them a little. Yeah, just oh, a little our little hearts yeah. to your hearts. <laughs> Do 
what a peaceful show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> It was worth setting up the sage. <laughs> <laughs>